What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I'm Vladimir CR and welcome back to episode 5 of my Skyrim long play. Uh, looks like today we're going to, well first off we're going to go hide in the Night Mother's Coffin. That ought to be fun, right? Uh, the Night Mother's Coffin is up there in that room and we're going to hide in it because Astrid wants us to find out who Cicero is talking to. She heard whispers and whatnot happening and so she wants us to investigate and so like a good little dark brotherhood assassin that's what we're going to do oh i'm about to fail a novice lock hold on a second <laughs> okay here we go it's going to be a little weird everyone listen According to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Have you. have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... But I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. You will obey his... You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not a listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bone. Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence. Treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Wait! She said to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. 
Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tones. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> uh oh. Why sit this? This ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Armand Motier in Volendrude. Armand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volendrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volendrude? Should I talk to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna go find Nazir. And, uh... Hold on just a second here. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to go find Nazir, and we're going to talk to him and receive basically a couple of, maybe, I think, one or two side contracts from him, which we'll go ahead and carry out and see where that leaves us off. Brother. Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lerbu. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Tell me about Lerbuck. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death. Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Tell me about Hearn. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Pert, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Have All right. Well, 
so we're going to go take care of these two contracts real quick. Now, I'm not concerned about the bard, not in the slightest, but fighting the two vampires, Hearn and Hurt, actually presents us with an interesting opportunity, or could potentially present us with an interesting opportunity. See, fighting the two vampires, we have the, we could potentially become vampires ourselves, or, or rather uh, contract the vampire disease, which again, I can't remember what the disease's name is in Skyrim. Uh, I, I remember that porphyric hemophilia. I'm pretty sure that's the one from Marwind. I, they're all the same thing. They all do the same thing. Hold up, where am I going? Let's see. Uh, they all do the same thing. They turn you into a vampire over a course of a few days. And when they when they turn you into a vampire, you can usually it opens up a quest eventually if you talk to the right people to get yourself cured of vampirism. But um, personally, I don't mind being a vampire in the uh, I don't mind being a vampire in Skyrim or any of the games except for Morrowind. Being a vampire in Morrowind is extraordinarily inconvenient but I have done it before it's just a pain to get around and everything so we could potentially contract the disease which if we do I probably won't cure it outright even though if you remember an episode or two ago we made that cure disease potion so we could use that but um, we'll see how I feel and well for that matter we'll see if I even contract the virus Make sure I'm not being chased by a, a set of wolves or anything. See, I have my TV volume set relatively low so that the sound doesn't cross over into the microphone. I know I have a few audio problems that I'm working on, but I, I will get them figured out reasonably soon. Who the heck are you? Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. What are you talking about? The finest skooma. The sweetest moon sugar. At a fair price, of course. Just give me what you have, and we both walk away from this. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put on our frostbite so that he can't do so many power attacks. Drain that stamina down. How did he just get all of his health back? Doesn't matter, because he's dead now. What? You guys want a problem? Oh, I know what this is. Yes, need something. Which one of you do I need to talk to to be able to kill you? Huh? These guys were hired to kill me by somebody. They're going to have a note on one of them once we kill them but unfortunately I can't kill them until they attack me so hopefully we'll trigger the scene or whatever we have to do to get them to attack me well actually since there are only three of them and we're bait oh, here comes the courier of course he of course he'd get involved in this I've been looking for you got something I'm supposed to deliver your hands only Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, that complicates things, because now he can see me kill them, and if he sees me kill them, then that means that... Unfortunately, the courier is an NPC that cannot be killed. So we need to have him out of sight before we just attack these guys. I'm going to try one more time to try and talk to them. Unfortunately, me killing that orc yes. or, or getting into the fight with that orc caused a problem. So, with no... Uh, we'll just go ahead and... I know I can't kill Keep him like that. So, set. we're just going to... Uh, let's see. You have the least amount of armor on. So, we're going to start with you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
actually, in hindsight, I might have wanted to pick off the ones with more armor so that they won't have quite as much quite as much to to hurt me with and then finally you don't worry about what's going on here see I, I also think that hired thugs don't identify as like people that could hired thugs count as enemies they're they're coded as enemies so if we kill them actually I don't believe we would have gotten in trouble with them at all or with anyone at all for that matter so let's see there's the contract um, I can always sell some armor uh, as long as it doesn't bog me down too much. Let's see, what do you got? Same thing, probably. Steel war hammer contract. Carrying too much to be able to run. Of course I am. Okay, so let's see. That's because I haven't sold anything yet. I need to sell a lot of this stuff somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe we can make a side trip to. To white run. God, I'm still carrying too much to be able to run. Okay. Um, maybe we'll run to white run and then sell some of this stuff off real quick after we discover this mill because this mill is actually where the vampires are. Rather, we only have contract technically for Hearn, but Hurt is going to attack us as soon as we try and hurt him. So we only have a contract for one of them, but we're going to end up killing both of them. And actually, there's our target right there. So if I can sneaky sneaky, I might be able to go ahead and knock him out. Without even getting his girl involved. Ooh, or not. He's actually pretty strong. And he's about to come over here and he's gonna try and mess us up. But that's okay, because we're we're ready for him for the most part. We just have to see him. Ah, uh, there it is. Sanguinary Vampirus. That's the disease that we uh, could have potentially gotten from it. And I guess now we have it. So we'll see if I want to keep it or not. Because uh, in a few days it'll be too late anyway. But you'll, you'll start to notice that people will start being less friendly with me. They'll start saying things like, um, Are you feeling well? And you look a tad under the weather and, and stuff like that because we now have a disease. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, there's stage one of the uh, of the Sanguinar Vampiris. I think in Elder Scrolls Online it was called Noxophilic Sanguivoria or something similar to that. It always has something to do with blood, which is sanguine. And sometimes they'll have vampire in the title, but anyway, let's talk to this guy. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. That's not the first time you've said that to me, and I'm still not interested. What have you for sale? Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Actually, I'm not intending to buy anything from you. I just want to sell some stuff to you, because I need money. Well, I don't need money, but money is always a good thing to have. Sell that. Oh, well, well, whatever. We don't need it. We'll never use it. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, let's see. Keep, 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 keep. No, 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 no. Sell, sell. Also, if you notice his gold, I also have a lot of, um, I have a mod, rather, that increases the amount of gold that shopkeepers have available. And that's simply because no one wants to have this amazing amount of loot or stuff that you've gotten from people and then have to come back and, re and wait for two days for the vendor to reset to get some of his money back. Because most, I think most vendors have only... I, I really don't know. I can't say for sure, but basically it gives all the vendors, a lot of the vendors in the world, 10,000 gold to barter with. Okay, and now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and we're just actually just going to go right down to the stables 
where we can take a carriage over to Morthal, which will give us another fast travel point, which will make this whole walking thing just a little bit easier. Okay, so right down here is the carriage, as you guys know by now. And we're just going to go ahead and jump on in, and we'll head to Morthal, where we will kill Lurbuck. Poor guy. There's the Khajiit caravan. It looks like either they are moving on to their next location, or, yeah, I think they might be moving on to their next location, which we might sell, we might do business with them later, but we'll see. Morthal. Okay, now poor Lurbuck gets to die. But we don't ask questions, we just kill people. It's all we're paid to do. Uh oh. This guy's gonna ask us to join the Dawn Guard. You there. The Dawn Guard. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? I haven't noticed any vampire menace. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they've paid the price. Vigilance? Dawn Guard? What are you talking about? The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Izran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real serious vampire hunters. Killing vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha, Just to get to the London. conversation over with. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. Like I said, we'll probably end up Dawn being Guard a vampire, so... Okay, now if there are no more interruptions... Oh, this is just too perfect. It's like they want me to kill this guy. Oh, crap, no doors. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to be quiet and stab this guy. Sorry, Lurbuck. I'm sure you might have been a nice guy and everything, but uh, someone wants you dead. So, night night. And because we're not just an assassin, but a thief, <laughs> we're also going to take his stuff. Oh, steel from chest, amethyst and gold. I'll take it. Eventually, we'll join the dar or excuse me, the thieves guild as well, uh, and we'll sell this stolen stuff off. All right, now a quick little fast travel back to the Dark Brotherhood hideout or sanctuary, and we can turn in these contracts. And here we are back in the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Astrid's got something to say. We need to talk. Of course, Astrid. What is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Yeah, we're going to probably end up doing that next episode. <laughs> uh, let's go turn in these contracts with Nazir, and we will probably end up leaving the video off there. Oh, yes. Please tell me you flayed that horrible bard alive and made a drum from his skin. So many contracts, so little time. Lurbuck is dead. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Hearn is also dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire. 
and live to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Yeah, we're gonna stay a vampire. We get cool powers and stuff, and eventually once we start um, the Dawn Guard, which may be after I clear out, or not clear out, but after I clear the Dark Brotherhood set of, excuse me, set of um, contracts. God, I don't know why I drew a blank there. But anyways, once we clear out, uh, once we clear the Dark Brotherhood set of contracts and whatnot, then we'll go on and maybe do something with the Dawn Guard or join the Thieves Guild or something. Besides, being a vampire isn't all bad. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the problems or the active effects we have on us kind of suck. We have reduced health with Sanguinary Vampiris, which, I mean, honestly, reduced health is not that bad of an idea. Oh, and I saw this earlier, and we're going to go ahead and take that as well, because that will end up being taken to the Thieves Guild later. But in any case, thanks guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, do me a favor and tap that like button. It lets me know that you guys are having fun, that you guys are being entertained, and that everything is cool. And if you really like the video, please feel free to subscribe. I will never turn down subscribers ever. Because <laughs> that shows me, again, it shows me that you guys really do enjoy the series and you guys enjoy what I do. Because uh, these, these videos don't... I don't want to sound like I'm begging for attention, but these videos don't put together themselves. They do take a little while to put together. And just seeing you guys liking stuff and subscribing to me is, is really a nice show of appreciation that I wish that, that everyone could feel at some point in time. But in any case, I've rambled on enough. So once again, and as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Vladimir out.